Natalie, how are you? Uh, this is your first time with the Elysium, correct? It is. How did you hear about this charity? Well, you know what? I'm a huge fan of John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, so I actually found out about it through them because I follow them on social media, of course, and then Heaven on Earth, and I'm just like really thrilled to be here because the Golden Globes is tomorrow. It's so exciting, and all of this is about giving back, and that's what it's all about. It's a really great charity, a really great cause. They do great work. And what's coming up for you? Everyone knows you from WWE. you got NEM Fashion. You're acting. Tell us. What do we need to know? Um, I actually have a movie coming up in three weeks that I start filming called El Africano. It's with Danny Trejo, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then I have another film coming that I start in March. So a lot of things coming for me in 2018, definitely stepping more into the acting world. So I'm really excited to be here, especially because tomorrow is, you know, the Golden Globes. That's awesome. Danny can act. He can make tacos, donuts, everything, right? I mean, he's, he's everywhere. Well, we're excited for you and your projects. One last thing, do you have a favorite uh, sunglasses in your line? Oh my gosh, that's so difficult. Oh, I love them all. I love our Faded Black collection and our sports. Um, I would have to go with uh, our blackouts because I just feel extra just diva-ish in them. You know, they're blacked out frames and then black on silver. I love it. We're going to have to try them. Have a great time. You look beautiful. Thanks for stopping. All right. Well, happy 2018 and good Thank to you. see you here again this year. So what do we have coming up for both of you uh, in the new year? Any projects you guys are working on or anything new with the blog? I'm, I'm starting the, the third season of my show on the Hallmark Channel called Chesapeake Shores. And I also have Escape Plan 2 with Swartz, uh, with uh, Stallone, I should say, and Dave, Bati Dave Batista and 50 Cent coming out this year. It's always fun to work with Rocky, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and how great. about for you this year? Well, I have spent some time writing a project that I'm very excited about, that Jesse's come on board and we're going to produce together, and he's going to have his directorial debut, and we have a big announcement coming up January 14th, so stay tuned. Yeah, we're going to have to look out for that. So you're going to have to balance that home life, work life together, huh? Absolutely. That's the challenge. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us, you know, why you guys love this charity. You come every year. Why is it so near and dear to you guys? Well, I mean, it's just the, the incredible work that they do, really, and also... The, the organic relationship that, you know, they allow actors and people in the entertainment industry to have with the charity, you know, you actually get to, you know, put yourself into action and, and really get involved with the charity as opposed to other charities that, you know, maybe it's just like one-offs. You know, we really have a long standing with this charity, four or five years, and, you know, it's, uh, it's really moving to get to have these close relationships with these children and bring a little love and light and laughter into their lives. It's great to see you guys every year. Have a great night. Thank Thanks, you. guys. We're here with Bo Dunn, who looks beautiful as always. We love seeing you here. What's coming up for you? How's the art going? Any new shows we can tell people to check out? The art's going amazing. Um, I've been working heavily with Art of Elysium, so that was the perfect way to end 2017. And I'm working on a few solo shows, hopefully in LA and London for 2018, so I'll keep you posted. I love it. Do you have any themes that you can kind of tell us, or are you kind of still getting your inspiration? Probably the same as what I've been working on, just kind of about growing up in LA, my experiences, and yeah. I love it. And tell us just, uh, you know, for anyone that maybe isn't familiar, we see you here every year. You're really involved. Why is this such an important charity for you? I think growing up in LA, it's, you know, an LA-based arts charity for, you know, now they've it's broadened from children to um, homelessness to elderly so I think it spans across the board but it, I think it is such a staple for LA and giving back to the community and for me as an artist to give back and really to you know get back with the arts exactly you know what I do engage with the kids in that way yeah well thank you so much you look great have a great night hi Emma good to see you here tonight supporting Elysium and Shinola you guys are on obviously shameless together uh, tell us about being involved in this charity and being here for her tonight I'm just very excited. The Art of Elysium is an organization that I'm that's very important to me. I worked on them for about a year and a half now and I went to the gala last year, the Heaven Gala last year, and Stevie Wonder performed and obviously this year Shanola is getting honored, so she's the best person I know and I'm just excited to support her in this. And it's Golden Globes weekend. Are you are you going? Showtime you guys have some nominations? You're going I'm, to I'm not going to the Golden Globes. Bill, I believe, has a nomination. Yeah. Yay. And um but yeah, there's a few parties that I'm gonna be going to for the Golden Globes and where are you watching them? Home though? Yeah, I'll be watching them from home because I'm literally a grandmother and don't leave my house unless I have to go out. <laughs> I love that. I kind of think sweatpants and pizza is the way to go, and then you're going to glam it up for the parties. Ah, that's my any, any other thing you want to plug right now that you have coming up? Uh, what? Any yeah. other thing you want to? Um, Roseanne is going to be airing. The new season is going to be airing March 27th on ABC. Yeah. All right, well, tune in. Good to see you again. This is every Sunday now. <laughs> 
So you're here supporting uh, Elysium Gala. Tell us why this is an important charity for you to come out. It's a busy weekend and we love to see people here, you know, giving their time. Well, you know, I definitely believe in the arts of all kinds, um, having the ability to transform people and, you know, I believe in um, art uh, being a form of escapism from all the terrible things that we don't want to face, that we don't need to face, you know, we should have outlets for creativity, so I think it's an important um, charity here. As you mentioned that I know a lot of people are wearing black this weekend, but I was actually happy to see a lot of beautiful colors. I love the green. I love people just getting out, embracing the new year, more positive things. What's coming up for you in 2018? Uh, well, I have a lot of uh, burlesque show tours planned. I'm writing another book as a follow-up to my uh, beauty book. Um, uh, work, continue and work on my lingerie collection. I have a new fragrance out called Scandalwood. So you have no downtime, it sounds like. <laughs> Not really, but that's just how I like it. I love it. All right, well, that's about it. Thank you for stopping with us. Thank you. Well, we're here at Shepherd Ferry. We know you've been a big supporter from the beginning of this charity. Tell us why you come out every year you know, to give back to the Heaven Gala. Well, because what Art of Elysium does is so important. There's so many people who are having struggles in their lives, whether it's kids in hospitals or, or veterans. Um, and art is such great therapy. Art, music, theater, um, all, all, you know, all the creative disciplines and, and, uh, and, and escapes. I mean, really, that's what it's about. It's about taking your mind off your problems. So providing that for people, I think, is really valuable. And, um, you know, I, I think that uh, art is, is good for everyone, but especially people who really need something to take their mind off what's going on in their lives. We got a new year, people are looking forward to you know more positive things hopefully in 2018. What do we have coming up for you? Any new, new showings of galleries that we can come check out your work? Well I just finished my biggest show ever which was largely commenting on what's been going on in the world uh, socially, politically, but uh, trying to look at problems but also say we are focusing on differences when we all have this common humanity that we should see in each other. A, a documentary also just came out about my life and career called Obey Giants. So those are big projects, but I'm always, I'm always moving. I'm always doing more. Yeah, which is great. And you know what you just said, a lot of people are avoiding, you know, touchy topics, but art is a place to kind of really get into it and dig in and bring it into conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Art is a way to affect people emotionally, to get them to wrestle with something that intellectually they might reject. So they're they're seduced by the art, and uh, and I think it can uh, create conversations that wouldn't happen, and that is so valuable. Thank you so much for stopping. Have a great night tonight. Tell us you're here to support Art of Elysium. Why is this charity so important to both of you? Well, you know, Mark and I both come from the arts. We went to a theater art school in London, and, you know, also for us, any organization that is giving back and helping and, and raising awareness, and, um, it, you know, we're here to help and support. And so for us, we know that the arts impacted our lives so much. Um, and the fact that they work with, you know, the el elderly and, like, with homeless as well, and, um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So we're, we're happy to be here and help support, and, yeah. And 2018, what's next for you guys? I think you have a tour. Are you guys back on the show? Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things kind of happening right now. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to nest a little bit because uh, I've been on the road for two months. I uh, was on Broadway for six months. And we got married, we were touring, and just haven't had any. Congrats on that. Thank you. Haven't had any time. Haven't been on a honeymoon yet. So we're kind of finishing our house. We're going to go on a honeymoon. We're writing our third EP. Uh, and we're going to be touring again this summer. And there's some other Broadway stuff that could be happening. We'll see. We'll see. We see you here every year. You've done so much for the charity. And finally, it's your night because you really are the spirit of Elysium. We're so happy for you. You're being honored tonight. Tell us what that feels like. And it's John Legend and it's Heaven Gala. Yes, yes. it only feels good because it's John Legend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But honestly, it feels amazing. It feels amazing because this is a charity that I'm passionate about, that I love, that I've worked with, that I've been with for 14 plus years that I've watched grow and evolve and change and change the conversation to good and change the conversation to something positive. And I've watched children go from three to six or from, you know, in and out of the hospitals and, and just being a part of that has given me a recognition about life and how precious our time is together. And I have two healthy children, but imagining if that didn't happen, I would want someone like this organization coming to the hospital to get a smile on my baby's face. And now you
you know, they've expanded different cities. They're taking on homelessness, and you know, they've really yeah. expanded to everyone, seniors. Yeah. It's really amazing. Yeah. It's been so great, and I've had a front row seat to see this evolve. I was at the very first heaven before I was on a television show. Mind you, say, you were, I was a bartender and still working for this organization. I love it. You've been involved from the beginning. Yeah. We love this organization. Also, congrats, you know, Shameless, a great show. It's back now. There's a nomination tomorrow for uh, Bill Macy. Congrats on all that. Yeah, thank you. We what do you want to share with us about the season? Because you always give us the best dirt on the season. I wish I could give you dirt, but we haven't even started nine. All right, you can't tell us. I can't tell you, but I can tell you eight is great. And it's going well. It's going to end wonderful. And we're coming back. Well, that's all that matters, right? We just want to keep seeing you on our screen every Sunday night. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.